this plant? <laughs> Let me see. She's so pretty. This is my eucalyptus. Say hi. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to Ashley Speaks. It's your girl Ashley, and today I am feeling, what did I say? Booked, busy, unbothered, okay? <laughs> welcome back guys, thanks for joining me again today. So today, <clears throat> I'm coming to you with this video kind of off the top because um, dating is ghetto, and it's 2020, it is the middle of November, the middle of a pandemic, and dating is ghetto. All right, y'all. So as you can tell from all that just happened and from the title, I'm going to talk to you guys about dating today. So really, I'm just coming at you talking to you about my experience um, and just to kind of see what you guys are thinking too and what you guys are dealing with because um, it's hard being in a relationship right now during this pandemic and it's also hard being single during this pandemic. So I have friends who are recently married um, and they've just been talking to me about how much um, adjusting they've had to do to make everything work, right? Being home together all the time, working together or working at home, you know, in a small space and just literally not getting a break from each other, right? So that's their experience. I don't know nothing about that because I'm single. So I'm home with my family all the time, which that also has kind of been a problem, but that's a different conversation. So, <laughs> in regards to being single, it's like, well, what do you do, right? Because you typically would probably be trying to date anyway, right? Um, like, if you were at a place where you wanted to start dating. And, um, but now we're in this situation where, like, we're not supposed to really be meeting up with people. We should really be staying home. It's supposed to be quarantining or um, sheltering. Is it sheltering in place? I don't know. You're supposed to be staying home, staying away from crowds, staying away from strangers. That's pretty much it, right? So, so then what does that leave you, right? So, in comes these dating apps, right? So, dating apps have been out here for a while anyway. People have been on, let me go back. Back, back, back. People were meeting back in the day on, like, Black Planet. Planet? <laughs> Black Planet. Um, what came after that? Like, as a legit dating site. Okay, so let's talk about what your options are right now, right? So, like I said, you really can't be going out. You're supposed to be staying home. You're supposed to be sheltering in place, quarantine, all that good stuff. So that's really only leads you to these dating apps, right? Which people have already been using anyway for the longest while, um, since before all of this became a thing, right? But now I feel like there's been an influx in the usage, right? Because that's all you have as an option. So. In the beginning of the pandemic, I was kind of like, oh, let me see what's on there. Hopped on, I hopped on Hinge. Um, and I think I stayed on it for like a month. <laughs> um, met one, one guy that I thought had, you know, good, um, what's the word I want to say? Like prospect, a good prospect. Let's just call him that. I met a, a decent looking prospect. And, um, that was short-lived, right? And I hopped off the app. I was like, I'm not doing this. Then things started to look like they were getting crazy. So I was like, I'm not even trying to meet anybody anyway. Well, here we are seven, eight months later. And it's like, well, damn. Y'all know what I'm saying. So <laughs> here I am. I decided to hop back on again. So a long time ago, let me just give you guys a little bit of information about my history with these dating apps, right? So I first join black people meet um i think that was like 2014 right i was joining in 2014 i met somebody that's when i first moved to maryland so i was living in connecticut i moved to maryland i moved here for grad school i was like okay well you know i'm at a point where i'm ready to date going to grad school like let's see what happens so i hopped on black people meet um i actually ended up doing like their one of their pay portions um i think if you have to pay in order to like message people back or something like that so did that um and i met somebody within a month and we started dating we actually ended up being to being in a relationship for two and a half years around there like two years and some months um 
if y'all want to know how that ended because that's a whole long story and why that ended leave a comment below and i'll be sure to do a video about that but so that that was that experience um and then i didn't really hop on one for a few years um i played around on tinder maybe a year ago um and like that wasn't substantial i actually made some friends on there like um two people two dudes i'm really good friends with now um funny enough so that was that um definitely won a few days though um you know it was option a good opportunity to meet people but like most of those dudes all those dudes actually i, I went out with in that app none of them were serious so um that's just kind of how that was um so hold on my dog's barking <laughs> all right can you let mommy work if you guys hear her you know just ignore her <laughs> okay so um that was that was tinder back then right so then i literally haven't been on a dating app i know it's been over a year until now so here we are now um eight months into this pandemic and i'm you know i'm like okay i want to meet some new people i want to date but you know i still want to be safe um you know it's one of those weird things like you want to meet new people and you know that you guys are going to want to meet up but like you really can't meet up right now so you got to keep all of that in mind right so I was like, let me just see what's going on out there. Also, I was bored. I ain't gonna lie. I was bored. I was like, let me see what's happening again. You know, I can use a little flirtation in my life, you know. Um, so, yeah. You know, a girl wants a couple compliments. Somebody to send her a good morning text. You know, a little. Okay, you being real needy. What's up? What's up? Um, you know, a girl can use a, a, some, some good morning text, you know something you know i saw tiffany haddish in common they did their little thing with bumbo you know he sent her a whole date in a, a box it wasn't really a date in a box but you know you get the point so a girl could you know have high hopes and dreams for that as well <clears throat> i wish i could see that she's laying right here on my feet trying to get me to pet her she's so ridiculous <laughs> um so anyway speaking of that oh i did try bumbo before I mean, back like a year or so ago when I hopped on Tinder, but I didn't, I don't really like the idea of me being the one to like reach out to a guy first. <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I don't, that's just not my thing really. So I didn't really have much luck on that, but that's probably because I didn't really do much with it. So again, back to here we are now. Um, I told you, I didn't really plan this. I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know what, let me record a video. So now I decided to hop back on Hinge. And I think I've been going with Hitch over Tinder, even though I've heard Tinder is a lot better now and it's not as many people just over there looking for hookups. But in my mind, I still think of Tinder as a hookup app. So Hinge has been marketing itself more as a um, like a relationship app. You know, I think one of their models or sayings is, you know, we want the app created to be deleted or don't quote me, but it's something like that. So pretty much that, to me, that means is that y'all want us to meet people here, get in a relationship and no longer need your app. And, I think that's bomb. So um, <clears throat> now for those of you guys who are not, are not familiar with Hinge, Hinge has a, um, like people could like you and then it will pop up and you can see that people like you. And then you can look at their profile and decide if you want to match with them by sending them a like as well in a comment or if you don't want to match with them. I like that they have you have prompts, right? So with the prompts, um you can choose i mean you would choose different things that you want to say about yourself so you could say like um one of them could be like you know what so this is pretty much what the page looks like or the app looks like when you click the little heart button at the bottom which is your likes so typically i'll go ahead and check my likes i'll you know read about their profile um read the prompts, look at the pictures, and, you know, if it's somebody you're interested in and they already liked you, you can just hit a heart underneath, like, any of their pictures, um, or, or you could just, um, comment on one of their prompts, and if you don't like them, you can hit the X button, and that's how you kind of get rid of them, so, um, just kind of scrolling through, seeing if there's anything here I'm interested in, um, I'm really annoyed because I did do a voiceover when I was recording this, so it would have been in real time, but it didn't save. Um, I'm kind of new to screen recording, so, um, 
going to do it now. So as you see, I just kind of scrolled over at that part there. I like to see if they select if they have kids because that's very important to me. Some people choose not to answer that question or have it posted on their profile. And I usually take that to mean that they do have kids if they're not allowing you to see that. So I always go like that, make sure I pay attention to how tall they are and their age, um, location, and if they have kids. Um, those are like the top things I listen to, I look at in that bar and then scroll through the pictures. Um, I like profiles that actually seem like they put forth some effort. Like some dudes just put pictures of like random shit and that doesn't appease me. So I need pictures of you, um, pictures that kind of show me a little bit more about who you are, your style, um, prompts that tell me more about you. Um, like, okay, he wrote, she loves coming to watch me coaching my basketball games. Okay. That tells me that he's into coaching, you know, he's into basketball. Like, that's good for me to know. That tells me something about him. Um, see that he, you know, takes decent photos, see how he looks in a hat, see how he doesn't look in one. So, um, I guess I must have hit send like on him. I don't recall. But the rose comes up. Like, if you really, really like someone, you can hit the rose. Um, and that's like a super like kind of. Um, but if it's just going um, to be a regular like, you just hit the regular heart. So him, right now he's giving me kind of F-boy vibes, you know, or thirst traps since he's really out here showing his body. Um, again, I'm scrolling, you know, to see what else he has here. If he has listed that he has kids and I don't think I saw anything there. Um, I think I'm double checking. Okay. So yeah, doesn't seem like he had kids. Um, let's see, he's really into the gym. Okay. You know, um. <laughs> this is definitely what I think gave me the F-boy vibes because clearly he's really into himself um, and likes posting pictures and taking pictures without shirts on. So I was kind of confused as to why his Instagram has so many pictures of the same, him, him in the same outfit, like back to back, like you don't know how to do a carousel and post more than one picture at one time. Just wondering. So yeah, you can have your Instagram link to it. I don't have my link because my Instagram is more professional. So I don't have my link to my page. But just recheck in. I was kind of trying to feel like if I wanted to give him a chance or not. Um, so that was me kind of re-scrolling again. And trying to fill him out to see if I was interested or not. And ultimately, I was like, all right, I'll give him a chance. So that's basically what that part of the app looks like. So this section here is what they call standouts. It's the star, which I never really use um, in this app. I kind of just discovered it during this day when I was checking it out for you. So this is like people that they think are more likely your type um, based on, I guess, the typical people that you tend to... Um, send comments to and send likes to and things of that nature so I'm just scrolling through to see what they have and it seems like they refresh them every day um so it's a nice little um I guess like a nice little different kind of section to check out um so I was just kind of reading through and clicking through them seeing if there was anybody that I was actually interested in um and in this sense like you actually have to use your rows so um I think they only, I forgot how many they give you. I know I accidentally used a rose before, but I don't think they refill them. I think they give you like two or three to start and then you have to like pay to get more. So ain't nobody got time for that. And the next area is the um, message section. So that's where you see like people that you've liked. So whenever you like them, it says like you invited this person to start the chat. And if they like you or message you, it comes up in that section too. And then the last one is like the little person that's your profile. So you can click on that anytime to see what it looks like in the live view, um, which is the section I'm in right now. So this is how it looks to people checking me out. So you can see I got my cute professional picture at the top, but showing, you know, some legs, some heels, showing I got style, cute smile. Um, I like the, like I said, I like the prompts that they give you. So the two truths, truths and a lie, I would actually like to know which one you guys think is a lie. So go ahead and comment below. Which one of those do you think of it is the lie? Whether I've been to Bali before, I've been scuba diving before, or um, 
I don't even remember what the third one was. But, uh, or if I've been um, skydiving. So let me know what you think is a lie. But I'm showing here that, you know, I like to travel. Um, you know, showing that I like to look cute. I like to wear heels when I go out. I've been to Carnival, so, you know, showing a little bit about me. But you can change your profile anytime. You can change your prompts. You can change your pictures. You can change the order of them. You know, you can change it. But I haven't changed mine since I created it. So, yeah. But that's pretty much the app. Um, let's just talk now about my experience on it, right? So, I'm in Baltimore City. Um, what most of you guys probably know is a predominantly, um, has a high black population, I should say. So at first I was getting a lot of white guys and I was like, okay, interesting. Um, not really what I'm looking for. So yeah, but it seems like Hinge picks up on your likes and your um, dislikes because as I was saying, matching more with black guys, I started seeing a lot more black guys come through as um, options for me. So uh, I was appreciative of the app learning my likes they also have this thing that it comes up and it's like people we think you're most compatible with. Now so far it hasn't been right for me. Like all the people that they said most compatible with, either like the conversation went nowhere or they weren't really responsive. So I don't know about that feature. Um, but let's see. I've had some decent conversations. Um, I've had, yo, your girl, your girl was ghosted y'all. Like seriously. <laughs> this is like a new um, <clears throat> situation for me. So hold on, let me drink for this. Okay, so I met this one guy. Conversation was going really well. We were communicating via the app, like texting each other through the app um, throughout the whole day. Um, and he was like, okay, you know, I'm liking how things are going. You know, can I have your number? So I was like, all right, bet. Gave him my number. Then we were sending like voice notes to each other. So like, you know, I message voice notes um, situation that was going really well. Um, and we were just talking and texting throughout the whole day. Now, we didn't talk on the phone. We just did the voice notes and we did the, um, the text messages. You know, we talked about our businesses, what we're doing, you know, seemed to be really in alignment with one another. And then one day I sent him, like we were communicating throughout the whole day. I sent him a voice note, like back as a response to something he said to me. He didn't get back to me till the next day. He was like, oh, I was busy. You know, I went out with my friends. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Um, and then I sent him another message and he didn't respond back. So I was like, all right, I guess he got busy again. Whatever, going about my life, going about my day. Then the next day, I, I was like, huh, still haven't heard from him. And that was kind of, that was different from how he's been communicating with me. So I was just like, all right, well, whatever. Thought about it, didn't really pay any attention to it, left it alone. Um, and then the next day, I still didn't hear from him. So I was like, okay, am I doing too much by like wondering why I haven't heard from him? So I was like, all right, you know, actually, you know, it's okay for you to show somebody that you're interested too. Like this is something I've been toying, you know, trying to figure out with myself because I really like for guys to pursue me and show me that they're interested in it. I like to meet them at the level that they're giving me. But, you know, I'm realizing that some guys also want that too. So I'm like, I can come out of my comfort zone a little bit to meet somebody, you know, not fully halfway, but I could take a few more steps than I was. So I was like, let me reach out and just be like, you know, just let him, so he knows I'm still interested. So I sent him a text and I think I sent something like, um, like, hey, um, you know, is everything okay? You know, something like that. And he never responded back. So I was like, oh, all right. <clears throat> and I waited like a day or so and then he still didn't respond back, but I was like, I guess. Does that mean I was ghosted? I think that means I was ghosted. Why do people do that? I was listening to an episode on The Read like months ago, um, which is a podcast that I love. And they were, somebody was writing in about being ghosted. And they had this whole conversation about why people do it. And I, I understand why some people do, because some people don't like confrontation or they don't like to like hurt people's feelings or let them down. But I just feel like it's best to like let somebody know if you're not interested versus leave them wondering. I think like, you know, the mind, like you guys know I'm a therapist. So like the mind plays so many tricks on people. Like if you leave your mind to wander and think it's much worse than whatever the reality is, right? So for example, I had a dude on the app that I was um, communicating with that 
I was just feeling like we we weren't on the same page, you know, and I could tell he was kind of feeling me, but I knew I was I wasn't really feeling him, and he was he was asking if we could actually, you know, um, take it off the app, and I was just like, you know, honestly, I, I don't. So I had to think. I thought like, mm, maybe I just shouldn't respond back to him, and then I was like, but that's rude, and he's gonna be wondering what happened. So I just texted him. I was like, hey, you know, I actually don't think we're on the same page. You know, I wish you the best of luck in what you're looking for. I mean, he unmatched me, which means that, like, I can't see our conversation anymore. But he got the message. And he knows that, like, that's what it was. Like, he's not left there to wonder. I think that's better. So you guys drop a comment below for me and let me know if you're the person who wants to know what's going on. Or you would rather somebody just, like, not tell you and stop talking to you. Let me know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so that happened. Um, what else? Ooh, I didn't tell you guys. So when I was on the app early in the pandemic the guy i met like i said we were vibing really well we were talking on the phone on a regular basis we were facetiming on a regular basis and things looked like they were going really well so something happened where like he told me he was gonna call me he didn't call me um and so i'm like okay i'm a person i, I take notice you know note of things like that if you don't do what you're gonna do and if you don't communicate well um like that those are those are a problem for me right so he ended up like somehow we ended up getting into this like heated conversation because he had expectations for me to do things that he wasn't doing right so he wouldn't keep his word or contact me as often like when he said he would or um things of that nature right but he wanted me to do the same so it was like one time that I told him I was gonna call him right back and I didn't call him right back I didn't call him for the day or whatever and he had a whole attitude the next day so I was like well hold on I was like you don't you know keep your word when you tell me you're gonna call me why would you feel some type of way if i don't if i don't do the same <clears throat> now of course i was being petty i did it on purpose but that's because i'm not gonna keep showing up 100 percent if you only showing up at 50 like it's just that's just not gonna work for me so um you know he went off and said how like i got poor communication and it's crazy because i'm a therapist and that i communicate this way and went all the way off and i, I just let him go off and i was like honey um Everything you're saying, everything you have a problem with that I did is what you did. So then you have a problem with yourself. Anyways, that was the end of that. <laughs> so um, I thought we, we kind of got past that. I thought we could have had a really good conversation and just understood where each other was coming from. But he was a little too butthurt. Um, so that's how that ended. Um, anyway, so back to current situations now. Um, right now, I'm just still seeing what's, what's going on. I had um nothing really crazy happened like people always ask like well anything crazy guys and say anything weird um not really i just had a couple guys like the first time we were like talking they're like oh you want to meet up like right now and i'm just like no like one i'm like we ain't even really like texting talking nothing to even know if there's a vibe and two it's a pandemic and especially with it being a pandemic i ain't about to just go out and meet every old dude not even knowing if it's a lie. Like, not even knowing if I trust you. Not even knowing if you're the type of person who wear a mask, wash your hands, none of that. Like, I need I need more information if that happens. And honestly, y'all, I don't even see myself going out on any dates. Like, there's been a guy I've been talking to now for, like, a couple weeks. And I'm like, we could do a virtual date. Like, I just... It's weird. I know I'm on this app to meet people, and I do want to meet people. But I'm just, like, not ready to just risk it all. So I feel like we can, I feel like you can honestly virtually date somebody right now and like develop a really good friendship. And then when things open up and things are back to normal, then you guys can get out and do things. You know, I think this is a bomb time, like I said, to develop a good foundation, to really have an understanding of the person, to really like the person um, and see what they're about and, um, you know, things of that nature. So I'm kind of excited about that, right? Because Think about it, if you quickly go out and meet somebody, right? Chances are things are gonna escalate to the physical component a lot more quickly because you guys are right in each other's space. You know, lust is a thing that develops. Um, and you know, next thing you know, things are happening. So when you're virtually dating, that can't happen. <laughs> so I think, that's, I think that's great. I think development foundations, and that's the point I'm at right now, y'all. Like I am 29. I do want to get married. I want to be in a serious committed relationship. And I'm not trying to have anything physical happen early on and like have that 
kind of steer the direction of the relationship, right? I really want to develop a good foundation, a good understanding of the person I'm with. Um, and, you know, I know it sounds corny, but a good friendship. So I think that's the, if I could think of a perk of having a dating right now during this pandemic, that's it. It's being able to set a, develop a good foundation and friendship with someone, really understand them, and, um, and then grow from that. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up um, so that you support your girl. My channel is small and I'm trying to grow. The more likes and subscribes I get, the better my channel could be, the more people I can reach, and the more videos I could do. So go ahead and do that and then share this with someone that you know that's been struggling with dating too during this pandemic. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.